Well, for me, I tend to think, and I may be wrong here, but you know, anecdotal evidence and some research suggests that the average Nigerian is fairly, by its disposition and its culture, is fairly more entrepreneurial, you know, than the, you know, from other people from Africa. You know, that is something people tend to see. Well, it comes across as the Africa, the average Nigerian being hyper active, hyper aggressive. But the truth is that the average Nigerian is very driven, is very aspirational, and he channels that effort into his entrepreneurial endeavor. The other thing, perhaps, we could we, we will say we, 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 that could account for this is simply because there are, in fact, more multinationals, bigger, mega companies in Africa that provide opportunities for a wide sector of of, of, the, of, the, of, of the of the of the country. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, we don't have that much. So people tend to have to do things for themselves, start their businesses, and grow it to that level. So that those two variables may account for where we have more entrepreneurs as aware. were. But again, there's the sheer fact we are we're much, much more than you. We are, I mean, we're 180 million people, and you are 50 million people. So it stands to reason that we'll have more, more entrepreneurs than you will have in South Africa. But those are probably the reasons why it plays out this way. The very first thing is that you must have an entrepreneurial mindset. The fact that you run a business or a business does not necessarily make you an entrepreneur. The very first thing that entrepreneurship is that you must be willing to take risk, calculated risk. Another very good quality of an entrepreneur is that you, you must be able to defy gratification. What that simply means is that you must be able to sacrifice some benefit today in expectation of you know, value in the future. Now, if you have a very short-term perspective, you're not likely to be a very good entrepreneur. Also, if, you, if you're not optimistic, cautiously optimistic, you also cannot be a very good entrepreneur. So this is one of the skills. But again, even when you have all these things, you must have a good product, you must have a good market, and you must have the stamina to stay the course. Some people believe that, you know, you know, they get into entrepreneurship, if you like, for the wrong reasons. They believe that, you know, it's, it's, it's sexy, if you like, to be an entrepreneur because you are now your own boss. The truth of the matter is that it, it takes more effort, more work, more time to be an entrepreneur than for you to be in paid employment. So as long as you're click, you're clear about all these issues, then you probably will succeed as an entrepreneur. Remember also that someone once said that an entrepreneur is somebody who falls seven times and fails, but the eighth time when he gets up, he runs. You know, in other words, it's not every time that you start a venture for the first time that it will succeed. You know, you might have some failures here, but you learn, you learn from it, you get up and you move on. And that's what entrepreneurship is all about.